2018 CDL Air Brakes Endorsement Exam Questions and Answers. An air brake system is fully charged at how many PSI? 125 PSI. Let's read the statement again. An air brake system is fully charged at 125 PSI. The proper method of braking when going down a long or steep grade after selecting the proper gear is to brake until your speed is about how many miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. The correct answer is five miles per hour. So let's read that statement again in its entirety. The proper method of braking when going down a long or steep grade after selecting the proper gear is to brake until your speed is about five miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes due to blank distance. The correct answer is brake lag. So let's read the statement in its entirety. Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes due to brake lag distance. What factors can cause brakes to fade or fail? Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. The brake chambers fills with air pushing the rod out which moves the blank which twists the blank. Correct answer is slack adjuster and brake camshaft. Let's read the statement in its entirety. The brake chamber fills with air pushing the rod out which moves the slack adjuster which twists the brake camshaft. For air brake systems in good condition, the air compressor should start pumping at about blank PSI. The correct answer is 100 PSI. Let's read the statement in its entirety. For air brake systems in good condition, the air compressor should start pumping air at about 100 PSI. Which of the following is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? Correct answer is, if the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. And then the other uh, uh, distractors, or the, the, the two remaining distractors, or incorrect answers, uh, I won't even go over those. So let me read the question again. Uh, basically, what is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? And that is, if the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. So if, if your wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. That's the most important thing to remember about emergency braking. What are spring brakes? If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes to stop the vehicle. So these are springs that are inside the brakes that push the air brakes to basically stop the vehicle. Controlled braking is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. The braking power of spring brakes depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. Under normal conditions, in order to engage the parking brakes, the driver must first let the air out of the spring leaves. 
The storage tanks are used to hold compressed air. True. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has a brake, drums, or disc with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications. Generally, this will be blank an inch. Correct answer is one half of an inch. Let's read the statement in its entirety. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums or disc with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications. Generally, this will be one half of an inch. The stoplight switch turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. You are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to blank miles per hour. And the correct answer is 35 miles per hour. So let's read the statement in its entirety. You are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to 35 miles per hour. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement adds about how many feet? About 32 feet. Let's read the statement in its entirety. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement adds about 32 feet. Excessive use of service brakes results in overheating, which can lead to an expansion of the brake drums. The safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at how many PSI? 150 PSI. Let's read the statement in its entirety. The safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at 150 PSI. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. The air supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure is in the tanks.